Hi, let's get started with uh, SN1 and SN2 side by side comparison. So we need to focus on characters. Uh, the first one is electrophile, which is um, the leaving group is attached carbon delta plus electrophile. And that's also we call substrate in biochemistry, right? So um, the other character we need to um, look at is the nucleophile. So it, we have to go in the order in order to uh, use this one as a, a decision tree. So nucleophile. Uh, it is important to know whether it's a strong nucleophile or weak nucleophile. So, the next character has to be uh, what type of reaction mechanism, whether it's carbocation or is it, uh, um, is it a transition state. So, number four character has to be the graph. So, we should be aware of the graph, whether it has two bumps or one bump. Um, and then the rate, the kinetics of the reaction, whether it's first order or second order, or unimolecular or bimolecular in order, right? And number six is um, stereochemistry, right? So the actually, let's switch the, this one to a different order, uh, reaction mechanism, stereochemistry, uh, rates and graph in that order, is, it's uh, better, you can memorize it better. And uh, number seven is solvent. So the solvent uh, is not most of the professors going to question you about the solvents, but some do. So we will talk about that too. Now, so the first thing, the electrophiles in SN1, the best one is tertiary, where the three R groups, and primary is the worst, and the secondary would be sitting on the fence. Uh, the best is tertiary, uh, worst is primary, and the second is on the fence. We don't know where to go, right? And uh, the nucleophile uh, for the SN1, it has to be weak. And the weak ones do not have a charge. A good example is water. It has a lone pair um, to react, no charge. So then why are what type of reaction mechanism? SN1 goes through carbocation intermediate. So that's the one I mentioned, the elephant um, riding, right? So the carbocation has another magic. The two, um, the loop, the P loop has empty P orbital and then that will take the nucleophile from the right or left and it'll generate the stereochemistry, right? Where it is applicable. So the stereochemistry would be in this case equal opportunity 50-50, one to one. It's going to generate racemic mixture, one 50% of R, 50% of S, right? Now the rate, SN1 will have unimolecular, so that would be K to the uh, uh, concentration of electrophile right? And the graph should look like, as I mentioned, it should look like an elephant and the C plus the carbocation where uh, a man can write. The trunk front yeah, uh, is the reactant and the tail end is the product. So remember that way it's easier and it has two bumps, right? And uh, the solvent, what is the importance is the polar solvents are needed for any leaving group to be dissolved. That's what the importance is. Now, in this case, we're going to use protic polar. The protic means there is a proton possible, available. And just remember, C plus and H plus can go together. Okay? They will not react each with each other. So that's the point. Now, let's look at SN2, uh, the blue color, just to differentiate from the SN1. So the primary is the best to react. There's a lot of space to hit from the backside, and tertiary is the worst. And uh, nucleophile has to be strong nucleophile. It's an OH minus, the hydroxide ion is a good example. And if uh, your electrophile is secondary, now you can decide whether weak or strong nucleophile, choose your side. Um, where, what type of reaction? This is transition state. 
and that is a concerted reaction simultaneous reaction and as a result if you remember the backside attack will give you an inverted product if you start with r configuration you end with s you start with s you end with r the rate um, rate can be given in rate k to the constant e plus and a nu minus so it's a bimolecular because it is sn2 right so if it is sn2 it should have only one step that's how you remember and like i said two people get marriage so one marriage right okay um so in this case aprotic solvent is the important thing aprotic means no protons right why no protons if you do have protons it's going to react with strong nucleophile and it will kill the nucleophile so it will neutralize the nucleophile so we can't have protic solvents so the protic solvents are like water and acetic acid and and things like that so that's that so just put this one on a post-it little post and then keep it by your desk and by the exam time you will know everything about sn1 versus sn2 thank you